Sunday. A roadside bomb killed four U.S. soldiers in southern Baghdad, and rockets and mortars pounded the heavily fortified Green Zone, an area which lies in the heart of the city. Throughout Iraq, violence killed at least 61 people, scattering debris and leaving pools of blood on neighborhood streets. It was a day that underscored the fragile security situation that remains in the country, despite an overall lull in violence as of late. The milestone of 3,000 U.S. deaths was passed in December of 2006, just months before President Bush unveiled his troop surge plan that put 30,000 additional troops in and around Baghdad. Or the Reese Associated Press. It's been an especially deadly day for U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan. An attack on a remote U.S. base near the Pakistan border has left nine American soldiers dead. Another 15 were wounded. The battle began early in the morning and reportedly lasted throughout the day with small arms fire. It's the deadliest attack on U.S. forces there in three years. Sunday's attack came during a period of rising violence in Afghanistan. Monthly death tolls of U.S. and NATO troops in Afghanistan surpassed U.S. military deaths in Iraq in May and June. Also Sunday, a suicide bomber targeted a police patrol, killing 24 people. And the Indian Embassy reopened for the first time since a massive bombing last Monday left 58 people dead. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press. Dad? Right, Dad? How'd you manage to fall like that? Just couldn't handle the last step. <laughs> 